it's actually on the um, Real Talk with Devin Will page, which is part of what we're trying to do. Is we're trying to migrate you guys off of Dev's Facebook page onto our YouTube page. So, and we'll share it. We'll share it on our page uh, and invite you to the event. I did an event. It's Monday. We're back from vacation. We're on vacation. Yeah. Last weekend. Last week was last Monday was Memorial Day, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, then we had a funeral to attend on Saturday, so it's been busy. We had a busy weekend. Yeah, it's been busy. Uh, well, we're back, and uh, we're going to finish up the um, the ten strategies um, to help um, solve marriage problems, m marriage situations. And um, thanks so much. And I put them actually in the comments on the. Um, right underneath there so you can follow along if you like and you should write them down or just copy and paste them in. You know, nobody writes crap down anymore do they? <laughs> People type. They don't even teach kids in school how to write their signatures so no. They don't teach them how to write anything anymore. So. Well we don't do cursive writing. We've been cursive writing and been a bunch mm -hmm. of times a bunch of times. I don't know, I'm 58. My cursive is awful. It always has been. Uh, I have perfect pens. Well, it's one of those things where you elite, you, your elitists could, you know, separate yourself from us. Let's, uh, perfect pen. Make your mark. Uh, that's about where we were. Well, anyway, um, again, thanks for, um, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for dropping by the YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Um, it's going to be. Um, we have, I have we have five more points. And um, I'm pretty sure that if you follow those points, if you stay all the way to the end, you follow those points, you'll get, uh, again, this, is, this isn't the, well, good bless I'm you. sorry. Good bless you. Um, now, this isn't the, the definitive list of anything. If you do this, you will have a perfect marriage and be married for 300 years. This is not that list. But well, let's follow these rules. <laughs> or you will be, or you'll be divorced in a week. No, the idea is that if you, that if you have something to go by, a guideline to go by, it can help you through the process. So well, that's what we hope you do. So stay to the end, and that way you'll hear all five, and that'll be cool. Yeah, all right. I have uh, to wear my glasses. Well, yeah. Why? Yeah, because it's so far away, and I. My glasses are for distance. I can read. I don't need readers. I need distance. Oh. So. So look at the little one. It's close. It's bigger. And it's brighter. Um. Number, actually, this will be the first one for, for today, but it's actually you number... just list the ones that we did like the previous week. Oh, I, I, I can do that. Um, last week we did, or week before last, we actually we did surround yourself with people who are in healthy relationships. That was important. Um, the second one was choose to love. We have a choice uh, to be in love and to show love. We have a choice. Number three was believe as if your spouse believe in your spouse's happiness is more important than that you're wrong. We talked about that, and put the relationship ahead of everything else. Uh, and number five was start from scratch. That means that means sometimes you have to just you just have to start over and be and be okay with starting over. Uh, our first one today, uh, which is number six, uh, is Stop taking each other for granted. Now, I what I know is that after you've been married a while or been in a relationship for a while and there becomes kind of a groove to it all the time, you just sort of think that this is how it's going to be and this is what they always do. And they and all... It just feels natural to, to continue to do things the same old way every day, every week. There's a grind to it. You know, and, it's a screw. And if it works for you, why, it works. Why it's screwed up. Yeah. But it can get boring. Well, it's boring. I mean, life, you know, I'm always of the mind that life is basically, unless things are happening <laughs> that you may not want, life is generally boring. Once you get a groove, once you get a routine, you know, routines are, 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 are by their nature boring. But the idea is don't take each other for granted. That um, those things they always do for you, Sometimes you have to, sometimes you break out of the mold and say thank you when they get the coffee for you or when they wash the dishes, you know what, out of, you know what, just because 
you didn't ask them to wash dishes, and for some reason they're in there washing dishes or uh, taking clothes, you know, taking clothes to the dry cleaner that they don't normally do, or what, or whatever it, whatever it is that's out of the norm, um, that they just do. Make sure you say thank you, or even if it's in the norm, if they always do that for you. Occasionally say thank you. You know, don't take it for granted. Don't don't take it like oh, don't assume to. that they're gonna just automatically do it all the time well, either. Well, yeah, no. Um, you know, it just because one one of you happens to um, clean the kitchen and make the dinner and do all of that, sometimes you know maybe offer or 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 help out, go in and do, and finish it up for them. Yeah, don't sit here and starve to death because you expected your wife to cook. You always cook. I'm so hungry. <laughs> no, we're adults. Uh, we survived. We can, you can go in that kitchen and you, and you can make yourself something. Um, I don't think I don't think I've been the guy who called home and said, "What's for dinner?" No. Well, because I don't because well, because Deb works too, and she and she, I I don't expect her every, every night to come home. I never did. I mean, she meal preps now, but. And that's and that's and, 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 and that's been a blessing, but I never expected um, for her to come home from work and cook dinner and iron my shirts, and darn my socks, and I just that was that was never that was never an expectation, you know. You know, so and and I think for some I think for some people because maybe how you how you were raised, how your mm -hmm. parents and you know, how your parents did it, that you sort of take for granted that that's everybody's role, and and it may not be, and it, and first of all, it may not be. Like I said, Debbie works too, and um, some and sometimes men are better cooks. They can do it better. All the great chefs in the world are men. Uh, than the women can. Even though we've been taught, you know, women are cook. They cook the meals and clean the house and do all this stuff. Men can clean the house better sometimes. Sometimes they can, and then sometimes they they fake that they can't clean it. Uh, maybe. They fake people, um, but but just don't take any chore, any of the chores. And we did a video on that. We did about you know sharing the chores and the activities in the home, um, how to split it up, and you know sometimes uh, you may need to learn a new pro project in the house. Well, and, I, and I don't and, and I don't think it, it, it just it's just about chores. It, it, it's about just taking each other for granted, like they're always going to be there, mm -hmm. um, because they may not be. Paying the bills. You need to know what's being paid and when it's being paid and what's going on and when stuff is due. You know. I mean, people people may not always be there, so, so so don't don't take them for granted, and that means like don't take it like they're always going to do the same thing and they're always going to be there because you know life happens and life can slap you upside the head like like, like a brick, so. You want to be, I mean, you want to be prepared, and you want to make sure that people, that your spouse, that you know your spouse appreciates what they do for you, and what they do for the family. All right, um, these two kind of go together. Uh, well, actually, the next three really go together. Um, pray for your spouse. Ask God for guidance um, as you. Is that pledge? Do you have it in? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you pledge. Not quite sure what that means, but okay. Uh, I, okay, um, but, but 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 pray for your spouse. So and the, and and the idea is that you may not always, frankly, you may not always know exactly what to pray. You might not because you, you may not know every situ, every situation and every single jot and tittle of somebody's day, uh, what they you know what what they need and when they need it. But the idea is that if you cover you know what? If you cover their life in your prayer, then whatever happens to them, whatever they're they're facing, is covered in prayer. You've already you, you've already petitioned God to protect them and keep them and comfort them, and you've already done that, and you keep and you keep doing that. Because their needs are your needs. If you're a, a union, um, you should you you have pretty much the same goals and needs in life. So when he prospers. I prosper. When I prosper, he prospers. So that's. So you want your spouse to do well. Yeah. So the I, I, idea is make 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 sure that you are praying for them on on a hourly basis. Playing with stuff. <laughs> Why are you playing with stuff? Because you are. 
You see, but guess what? No one can hear or see what I'm doing. <laughs> see? I'm playing with water. But you can't hear it because I'm very good at it. Because I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, I've got to experience such things. So make sure that you put, make sure that you're praying for your spouse on, on, on a daily on, on a daily basis. Now, if you want to spend six hours in devoted prayer between midnight and six in the morning, um, then then do that. But go ahead and do that. But but I, I, so I'm I, I, I'm talking about making sure as they leave for work or when you think about them. Um, that you are praying for them because that's usually really when somebody comes up in your mind just all of a sudden, you 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 really need to pray for them. Yeah, and that's and that's mm-hmm. anybody but your spouse especially. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and sometimes guess what? You don't get all your you can't get all the answers from us. You can't. So seek godly counsel. Um, and I know that sometimes you know what marriage counseling can be expensive and. And then you go out and you talk to some of these marriage counselors and they, and they say all sorts of wild stuff. So our advice is if, if indeed you are uh, connected to a church, um, then go to your pastor. Mm-hmm. Um, your pastor may do the counseling um, themselves or they might be able to suggest somebody, uh, maybe an elder, elders in, in, in the church or deacons or whatever you have, whatever your church thing is. Um, that may be able to help you. And it's usually people who've walked through similar stuff and understand the dynamics. So so don't seek help. So so don't feel like you've got to don't feel like you gotta figure everything out yourself. You know. YouTube is a great resource. Because we're a great resource here. But we may not be the resource for you in your in your situation. Um, you may need something more intensive. You may need somebody who can watch you, people who know you. Um, and people who know your situation. So go ahead and seek help. Um, it helps to have somebody who knows you personally. And can hold you accountable. And hold you accountable and be there when you have questions or when you need things. Um, I know that through work in some workplaces in your health care, you can get free counseling as well and get help. But normally those people are just coming in your life and then they're gone. They don't know, you know, what really goes on in your life. So it's probably, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing to have somebody who knows you and knows what, you know, how your life works and stuff. But, um, and then it can be a bad, it can be a good thing to have somebody who knows nothing about either of you and can be, you know, not take sides. Well, I would hope that if your pastor suggests somebody that they that they, they won't be taking his eye, hopefully, because mm-hmm. um, the idea is if, if you're looking for godly advice, it's a, of course the scriptures that are going to be the arbitrator of who's right or who's wrong or whatever, mm-hmm. um, and not somebody's personal not somebody's personal opinion. And, but but all, all suffice to say. Don't think you have to go through it by yourself. Don't think you have to sit around and figure it out all, all by yourself. That you need a crystal ball and you know what, and a Ouija board to figure it all by yourself because you don't. And a medium. And, and a medium. <laughs> yeah. Another topic. That's another story. <laughs> Crazy. Y'all in Atlanta are out your mind. <laughs> now here's the second part, and and I'll, I and I'll tell you what, and and Debbie and I have both experienced this. People who come and ask you something, ask you. to about something, advice or whatever, and then they, and then people just leave and go, thank you, and they waste your time. Sometimes hours and hours and days and days, weeks, weeks and months and months and months. Lunch hours. And then oh, guess yeah. what? Then they don't do anything you, you, that you suggest. As a matter of fact, they do the opposite of what you suggest. Hmm. So if you're going to seek counseling, the only way that you have any shot of working is that if you follow the counseling. If someone, let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say you've been married two and a half years, and now it's weird. The swinging off the chandelier, the routine has started. You may have you may have kids or not, but the routine has started. The going to work every it's day, boring. you know what? And now it's boring, and you're like, I'm not sure how you speak the right person. This is not funny anymore, you know, because some people are like that. Anyway. 
and you go the newness wears off and it's not fun anymore no it's it's fun in, it's, it's it's fun in a different way you know you're you're changing that's that's the whole idea and that's what again that's what that's why you're here because people don't tell folks that it's going to change it's going to because you're going to change mm -hmm. your lives are going to change you'll be, you don't get to be on you know what this whole idea that you get to be on a honeymoon for 35 years is just ridiculous you don't because at some point you got to come home and somebody's got to go to work to pay for it and that's just and that's just how it is you know what your life is not a hallmark movie it just isn't a Hallmark movie. It's not. Where no one seems to work. And no one, you know what? They, they just don't. They, they seem to be able to do whatever they want. When they ever want. You know what? Nobody ever really pays for anything. You ever see anybody pay for anything? <laughs> they go to the shop and they go, oh, the, oh, this is, oh, this is very nice. And, they, and, and the girl puts it in her bag and they leave. <laughs> nobody pays for anything. It's like, what the hell? That's not how life works. It just isn't. So there's a routine to it. There's a grind to it. Um, still, as if you were single, there's a routine. When you were single, there was a routine and a grind to it. If you were anywhere nearing being a responsible adult. Um, so as you become a responsible uh, married couple, then there is that, that, that grind to it. So the idea is that you have to follow the advice. If they give you advice, you have to follow it. Because it's the only way that you'll know that it works. You can't just hear it and go, I don't want to do that. Because a lot of people come to get counseling or talk about something with you because they want you to agree with them. That's it. They want you to be on their side and agree with what they're saying. I know. I know. That's right. That's right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They want you to say that. That's right. And then when you confront them and tell them the truth and what really should happen and everything, they're like, mm, okay. Okay, and then and then they don't do then it. Then they go do whatever they want, and then the next thing you know, they're getting a divorce. Well, and, and the thing or is, they're separated. And the thing is that, 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 that if you come to me and you ask me so, if you ask me for some, and you're not going to do it, and you know you're not going to do it, then don't come to me. Really, have more respect for my time than that. Have more respect for me as a human being. Have more respect for for people who who, who have decided. And a lot of times, counselors in the church do the do this stuff on their own time and for free, mm -hmm. that you would have more respect for them than to waste their time when you know that you're just looking for somebody to agree If you've with you. already made up in your mind that you're not going to stay with this person and that you're not, you're oh. just doing it because they asked you to. Or at least that you're not going to, that you're not interested in making things any different. Not changing. That you've already settled that you're not going to make anything different. Well, we go to counseling, but I ain't going to do nothing different. This is for you. Okay. Yeah, then don't. Then don't waste people's time. Because the most valuable thing that any of us have is, is our time. We, we can make more money, but we cannot make more time. Don't do that. So if you're going to, if you're going to go to counseling and, and go with an open mind, go with an open heart, and then follow, the, and follow their instructions, follow the plan that, get, that, that gets laid out. Um, because that's going to be the way that, that's going to that's be a way forward. And if not, then don't do it. Then do something else. Um, the last one is change the pattern. We, we, we've talked a lot this morning about um, patterns and, and routines, and sometimes you just have to change. Sometimes you just have to change it up, and it's hard. I'm telling you, it's hard. Because you get used. To Do it for thirty plus years. It, it it gets tough. You're on autopilot a lot of times you with should. with your life, with your routine, with even with love making and all of that stuff. You just on autopilot. Because you've done it so many times, the same old way, and then this, but you got to switch it up. And that's, and, and again, that's tough to do. I, I mean, and it's tough to do in all the aspects of your life, because guess what we do? Most of us drive to work, and we go to work the same, we go to work the same way every time we go down the same streets. Uh, we stop at, we stop at the same place and get, and get coffee at the same place. We um we, get gas the same place. Yeah, we ride we ride the same public transit the same way. Um, we even have you know because we go go to the bus stop at the same time, we get the same driver um, and sit in the same seat on the bus, and, and because it's comfortable and it's easy, and it's and it's the path of, of least resistance. And we all you know and we all have this thing in in, in, in human in humanness is what we, what we what we want to do is avoid pain and seek pleasure. And when things are easy. 
it's pleasurable. It's easy. There's no stress. And, and because the, the, the chances of failure are, are, are lowered. And you don't have to think. You just do it. You just do it. And, and, it's, and it's always worked. And you don't have to worry about it. So, that's, so sometimes you have to sort of risk it a little bit. You have to just go out there and, and change something up. I don't, you know what, I, and sometimes it's, it's, it's something as simple as a hairstyle. Sometimes it's, it's something as simple. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm used to that. Um, so that's a constant in our lives. So, um, the, the hair changes all the time. Okay. But um, I mean, it, 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 it may be something as, as, as easy as changing the kind of clothes you wear. Okay, so you always wear white shirts, and you look in your closet, guy who's in your closet, and you've got like seventy-two white shirts, and you don't have any bright colors other than other than white. Mix it up. Get some get some gray pants that are all black pants. Even in your in in job and careers, you know, sometimes you get so complacent in doing, you know, the same old job, same old thing, seeing the same old people coming in your place and all that. And it it can get to be mundane and very stale. So, um, you might want to change change careers. I mean, if you you have the ability and the funds to do that, do that sometimes. It, do it early. Yes. I'm, I'm going to tell you do it early because I, I did it a lot early. A lot mm-hmm. early. A lot. And I did it kind of later, but I'm very pleased that I did. Yeah. Um, it allows me to do this. It allows me to do things that I, I really like. And and you want to change your change life and change... I, I, po- I quoted that on my Facebook page the other week, a couple of weeks ago, about um, ordinary and, and you know, and, and common stuff. That's our enemy because sometimes you can you have a talent or a gift or something that God has given you, and because you've been doing the same old thing for a long time, you let it just slip away. And you and you're because you don't want to change. You don't want to do something different. Do something that you know is that brings pain. Comfort is our enemy. Well, it can be. You know, it it it, it definitely can be because you, because you can get you can turn that groove get in, being in the groove into a rut. And then if you're in a rut, what you can't do is grow. And the idea of growth always hurts. Growth is mm-hmm. always uncomfortable. It's very painful. Um, so, so when you, in your individualness and as as, as a couple, um, that's why changing it up sometimes is is important because it forces forces growth. And, and and frankly, you may change it up, and it's not what you like. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. You tried it, you didn't like it, and now, now you can I'm do something else. Do something different. Do, do, do something. So, but at least that you don't run the run run the risk of of the staleness that that can happen. Um, and and with careers, you you know, you, once you change and you find out you don't like it, you know, there's always the chance that you can go back to what you were you you did do, uh, you were doing before, and sometimes it gives you a different appreciation for the job. You, you know, you you take things for granted for so long, and then when you go back, I know a lot of people do that in marriages. They they you find people that you know they'll divorce their spouse and go out and do this and that and other, and and they come back and people get back together again because they realize it, the grass wasn't always green over there, and I appreciate what I have now. The, the grass is let me help you. The grass ain't never greener. It's crabgrass. It's never greener. <laughs> Grab grass. Oh, it's fake. Or artificial turf. Someone paint, yes, artificial turf. Somebody painted it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's never green. And you get there and it's like, oh, this is not soft. This is not soft. This is hard and prickly. This is terrible. Golly, I fell and on this ugly. and I hurt myself. Yeah, so. <laughs> and, that's, and, that's what a lot of people, and that's what a lot of people find. And then they're too proud to turn Go back out. and say, oh. Mm. I, I screwed up, yeah. Uh, but sometimes you just, have, like, again, just, just change it up. Make it. A little make things a little different. Just make things a little different. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be. Please don't think that you have to have these big, huge gestures. Do 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 do, do 
little something, try something today. A little, a little, a little different. Try a little something different. A little, a little something different. Um, and it may get noticed or it may not get noticed. But try something a little different. Try saying things a little differently. You know, that's going to be important as you move forward, you know, in your relationships. Uh, because there is a mundaneness to it. There is a um, routine to it. After, you know, 20, 30 years, there is. And they, anybody of you guys who've been married more, more than that, and we've got people who watch all the time who've been married a long time, um, understand that it does get the same. That the swinging off the chandeliers pretty much ends a lot faster than you realize. <laughs> a lot faster than you realize. And um, so try to, again, try to shake it up a little bit every now and again. And it has to be a lifestyle of shaking it up, but every now and again. Every now and again. All right, um, that's all 10. And also, remember to come up with an action plan. After, you, after you've had your counseling with the counselor and you have come up with reasons and things that you're going to work on, write it down. Have an action plan. Well, know would, what you're going to do. I would hope the, counsel, I hope the counseling would be a part of that. Mm -hmm. I hope the counseling would be a part of that. Because the idea is not to have, not to go in there and, and, you know, and, and, and cry to somebody for an hour. But to figure out what you're going to do, and then no change. Well, and figure out, and, and just figure out what you're going to, and try to figure out what you're going to do. Um, not just and they, and they and 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 ends up being this, and they never and and he never and 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 she, and she never always. and she always every time. Oh gosh! And because of what Barney did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because Barney did. See, that's a Flintstones reference, and if y'all get it, then, then you're then, old. You're cool. You're cool. If you get that old Flintstones reference, you're cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, but that that should never. I mean, that should never be a part of good counseling because good counseling always leads to the next thing. Here's how we're going to handle. It. Here's where we are, and here's where we need to be. Um, that's always. That I mean that's always dealing in in, in good counseling. And um, the counselor should help you with developing a plan, uh, an action plan, an action plan or, 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 a way, or a way forward. Or a goal listing. Yeah, something. Uh, that's how you know it's good counseling. And that's how you know what to do. And that's how you know what to do next. As opposed to just a cry session. <laughs> a little pity party you can have on your own, frankly. Don't waste people's time. All right. Let's see. It is, what time is it? 9.30 or so. So we're going to get up out of here. Things to do. People will get people to see. Places to go. A lot of the same thing we did two Mondays ago. And I'm going to start back vlogging. Are you? Yes. When? Today. Today? Okay, so you so expect some vlogs on, on from Debbie. Are, are, are you going to put them up? Yes. Oh, okay. I was, I was, just, I was just asking. The people want to know. You're going to put them up? Should they expect them today, or should they expect them tomorrow, or Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, when as day? When as day? Okay, cool. 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 Well, we'll we'll do that. Well, you'll do that. It'll be something new. It'll be something different. We'll be shaking up a little bit. <laughs> Just say it. Anyway, um, if you guys got que if you guys have questions, um, comments, um, leave them in the comments below, both on YouTube and Facebook. Now, if you're on Facebook and you've not um, subscribed to our YouTube channel, shame on you. Shame on you. Not my friend. Um, I we need you to do so. Um, so it's I mean it's it's not, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you're worried if you're worried about YouTube getting your information, Facebook has every bit of information that you could possibly provide already. Um, so if you just subscribe, it doesn't and, so, and the subscription is, is the best thing because it's free. And then hit the notification bell. Um, that will be very, very handy. And again, any comments, please put down in the comments area. Any, any, any questions, please put down in the comment area or, 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 you know, or direct message one of us um, on Facebook. We'd love to hear what you think. We'd love to hear um, things that we could talk we can about later. You, about, you know what? You know, um, ideas. I mean, I'm the guy who says, I don't know. I'm okay with I don't know. Uh, 
but I'm we may, may, may able may be able to direct you to somebody have else a little bit of or somebody you know you know but so I don't know everything you know I don't I don't know everything but I don't I act like I do but <laughs> what <laughs> I act like I do but I don't know everything but we can at least direct you towards somebody um, who might so uh, again interact with us let us know how we can help how we, how we could be of, uh, of service to you we appreciate that all right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, go take care of yourself. Have some coffee. Have a blessed day. Love you. Mm -hmm. Peace.